All right, we're here with a quick guide on how to level up efficiently your kingdom. Now, it's real simple. You know, if you're new, you might not, you know, you might not know what everything is, and it may take a little while. In the beginning, it is slow. It is slow to build up the kingdom. Um, it took me a little while to realize this, but if you want to increase your accumulation rate, you know, how much you earn per hour increase your influence which is seen in the top right corner increasing the influence and you can do that by um, researching building and leveling up buildings you know you can increase the influence in those three ways um, and by increasing the influence it does help even further which leads to another point expand your coffers as soon as possible and level up the kingdom all of those will help you get to your goal faster because if you are going to put if you are trying to achieve platinum like i am it is one of the trophies that you need there are two trophies that are required to get 70 million influence which i just achieved and level four kingdom which is going to take a while because I need a hundred citizens and that's all the citizens in the game well I think there's I think there's a hundred and three I don't know uh, but you only need a hundred um, in order to level up to level four and so you know it's real simple and the best way to start out leave the game on the game actually has to be active it can't be suspended so, you know, you can't be, you can't suspend the game and watch YouTube or Netflix on the PlayStation. It, it, it won't accumulate anything. You have to actually have the game active, so do chores, do homework, um, watch Netflix on your laptop. Just leave the game active. You can leave it on this screen, mute the TV, um, but check back every hour. So that way you can clean out the coffers. Say. Because if the coffers are full, same as the, the stores, the resources, they can only gather so much. So clean it out as soon as possible, get them, don't let it go to waste. The main thing for this is time. So just leave the game on as much as you can. You know, that, that that's the main thing. In the beginning it is slow, it will seem slow, but prioritize building. You want to, you know, build certain things faster and level up and research things faster than others. Um, you do want to at least build these to level one first, so that way you can start gathering resources, which does make the game more bearable, so that way you don't have to go out into the world to farm for these resources, and your kingdom can do it for you. But there are certain things like the Explorer's Guild, like Brisk brisk stroll I don't know why I was stuttering with that but <laughs> brisk stroll like this one helps you run faster in the overworld which is much easier to get around um, store more stuff that increases your resources uh, capacity and yeah expand your coffers as soon as possible whenever you can so that way you can store more and you don't have to check back so often um, you know, there's a few other things like the training ground, you know, that helps with the training ground and the barracks helps with skirmishes and fighting. The Institute of Innovation is probably the number one priority that you want because this helps reduce the cost of building, leveling up, researching. It reduces the time required to research it it's it's amazing okay this will be a lifesaver right here because um, I think it reduces the cost up to 40% when you have both of them I think I believe I think it's 40% total uh, but build it as soon as possible it will help you out you know you don't need the symphonium um, you don't need to level up the square or the end if you have the extra money just laying around Yes, level it up because it increases your influence, which also increases how much you make per hour. Um, 
Now, another thing, certain research does require, I think it's like right here, um, yeah, you have certain conditions in order to research. Like, staff member is Master of Technophilia, which is where the Sage Salon comes in. And so, the Sage Salon is only effective at level 2 or higher. You put people here in order to have them gain experience faster than they were in a building. Which will make it easier to research, which helps the game quality of life in the game easier. And another thing, if you are done with researching everything in a facility, like if you're done with everything, don't leave, uh, it's pretty much a given, but don't leave citizens in there. Um, try to put them to gather resources, you know, because like I said, it, it'll make your life easier. Because if you are going for platinum, you do need to build armor, build weapons, cook higgledies, you know, uh, 50 different dishes, um, and you need those resources. And you also need 500,000 money at one time. It's not over time, but at one point in time. So, at a certain point in time, you can start selling items if you have a lot, which will help you get there at the Everyday General Store. So, I think that's about it. There's, you know, there's not really too much to it. Um, oh, and level up citizens whenever you have whenever they can be leveled up um I, I i don't have any that needs to be leveled up right now but you see like a little blue arrow under them if you don't level them up they will be stuck at the level that they are until you manually level them up i think that's a little weird but don't forget to do it because it increases their attributes which will help with researching um yeah same with researching you actually have to complete the research in order for that research to be enabled. So don't forget to complete it, so that way it can be in effect. But I think that's about it. It's really not that hard. The main thing is time. Time, time, time. Leave the game on as much as possible. You know, I think I've clocked about 60 hours in the game. I haven't played that much. You know, I've just left it on, do homework, watch YouTube, Netflix. While leaving the game on, I just muted the TV. You know, checking back ever so often, cleaning right. out the coffers, and that's about it. I don't really think there's anything else to say, and that has been a quick tutorial and guide on how to level up your kingdom efficiently.